Hello, welcome to Ace of Spades Chat. I am your host, Ace of Spades, from what you can tell from the intro and the other episodes I've ever done. The reason why I'm back is because I am just so bored. It's 9.30 at night and I'm just bored out of my mind. So, without further ado, let the episode commence with the game rating number... Seven, I believe. Halo Wars. It's a really good game. I haven't beaten it yet. I just got it. I'm really busy and I'm stuck on the third level. But I'm really busy. I've barely picked it up. That's my excuse for that. So, um, Halo Wars. It's really, it's really awesome. It makes you think a lot. It's really challenging. Um, uh, you know, I'm stuck on the third level because. I mean, you're constantly getting attacked, and you're waiting for all the sh shuttles to take off. If you play the game, you wait for shuttles to take off, and they take forever because they can't just, you know, take off like that. I just have my hand. Ow. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's the campaign isn't like Ninja Gaiden where they you raped in the first level, and it's not like. Hmm, Think of a game that's released a beating campaign. Uh, whatever you can think of, I can't think of one right now. But um, yeah, because some games are just like they make it so it's really boring or really easy to beat because they didn't even think about it. They just made it so they wanted money, like free tards. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Halo Wars. I'm gonna give Halo Wars a five because it's awesome. Uh, they went a new direction instead of doing the usual, you know, the first person shooter games instead. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool to see what it was like back then. Um, yeah. Anyways, five. Good job, Halo Wars. Good job, Bungie. Assemble Studios. Let's go on with the news. Snakes on a plane actually happened. So yeah, last Thursday, like, uh, these snakes are on the bottom of a plane, like, got out of their cage, and they're like, they like start multiplying, uh, and then they start crawling around the plane, and they start like attacking people, and, and they're just like biting heads off, and, and biting, like chewing off their freaking arms and whatnot, and just guts are hanging out people's body, and people like inside snakes, and it's like snakes flying everywhere, and this is all from like footage that some guy had, and posted on the internet, it was amazing, I was like, Ugh. Right? And then, and all of a sudden, Samuel Jackson comes out of nowhere and be like, You know what? I'm tired as well. Fucking snakes. Fucking blank. Takes our shotguns, like, blowing everyone to pieces. All the snakes and the snake guts and human guts. And this is everywhere. Blood everywhere. It was amazing. And then, and then plane, and Samuel Jackson lands the plane. And, uh, and then, uh, and then the snake comes out of nowhere. And Chuck Norris comes out of nowhere. And <laughs> Ryan House kicks in. And, oh, it was amazing. Yeah, I just made all that up. It's all that was complete bullshit. What really happened was four pythons were in storage, got out of their cage or whatever, and um, uh, they just basically hid in the plane. They didn't like go anywhere. And then when they found out that the snakes got out, um, they searched the plane, couldn't find anything. Um, when they did find out they were in the air, and then they got the people off the plane onto a different plane, uh, finish the routes or whatever they call it, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, they didn't find the snakes, and they just basically irrigated it, um, and then they continued. Excuse me, the the plane continued its routes or whatever, you know, following Wednesday. So yeah, that's that's the actual story. Um, sorry, I said before the cool story didn't happen. Um, so yeah, that's it for the news. So yeah, that's my show. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a quick announcement. It's getting close to the end of the third season. Yeah, yeah, just thinking back. Had a lot of fun. 
especially you guys probably had a lot of fun seeing my beard get shorter and shorter down to nothing. It's kind of weird after that when I first started this. I had like a, like a long beard because I thought it was cool and then eventually I got tired of it so I cut it and now it's gone because I had it. You know, the job I have now doesn't want me to have a beard at all. So, it's okay. It's looks sexy. But anyways, yeah, that was that's the whole deal with that. Um, that's it. Oh, yeah. So, I'm still trying to decide whether I'm going to do season four in the summer or in uh, next fall. Um, when school starts. Because if I do it in the summer, then I don't know if it'll be any better. And might, um, if not, then if it, I, if I wait till fall, it'll be really good. Because I have the whole summer vacation thing of ideas and stuff that I want to do more s different segments. If you're tired of these segments, just, you know what, as this, how about you leave a comment? The people who want more, leave a comment, um, and say, you know, what needs to be better, what doesn't need to be better, what needs to be, you know, stuff like that. So just let me know. And that'll happen in season four. So, uh, anyways, this is a spade saying later.